Hey guys, I'm back here again for a new video, and in this video I'm going to be showing off every release that I own of the original Halloween 2. A few weeks back I did a video showing off all the releases that I own of the original Halloween, and I wanted to do one for Halloween 2 because next to the original Halloween I own the most releases of Halloween 2. It is one of my favorite sequels in the franchise, and in my opinion, it's the best sequel. Uh, in the franchise. I know some people might disagree and that's fine but personally I think Halloween 2 is the best sequel um, in the series. Um, and I got inspired to do these videos from Andrew Ballina. A few years back on his channel he used to do a series called Michael Myers Mondays where every Monday he would show off a different part of his Halloween collection and in those videos he showed off all the different releases that he owned of the original Halloween and Halloween 2 and so that inspired me to do my own videos showing off all the releases that I own of Halloween 1 and 2 and I do plan on doing one for Halloween 3 and 4 as well because those are my favorite movies in the franchise and I own the most uh, releases of those movies uh, so yeah guys without further ado let's just go ahead and get started now the one release of Halloween 2 that I'm not showing off in this video is the Blu-ray that comes in the Screen Factory Complete Collection box set. And the reason why I'm not showing that off is because I want to keep those Blu-rays in the best condition possible. So I only take those out when I watch the movie, but other than that, I keep them in the box, um, you know, just to keep them in the uh, in the best condition. So I'm not showing off that. Um, that is the only release of Halloween 2 that I own that I'm not showing off in this video. Um, so yeah guys, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by showing the cooler, more limited, and rare releases of Halloween 2 that I own. And then I'll move on and show off the more, um, you know, the more basic releases. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And the first release I'm going to show off is the my favorite release of Halloween 2 that I own. And that is the 4-disc German media book. I absolutely love this release. Um... I love collecting uh, media books and digi books. Those are some of my favorite um, packagings to collect. And I want to get all the Halloween movies on media books. So far I have you know, several releases of the first Halloween. I have this one for Halloween 2. And then I also have one for Halloween 4 and H2O. So I have a little bit of ways to go. But yeah guys, I absolutely love this release. I've already showed this off um, in a video by itself. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this. But I will show that uh, this release is uh, numbered and is limited of only 1,000 copies, and mine is number 19. So yeah, mine is less than 20, which is very, very cool. Um, and I will go ahead and show off, oh, the DVD fell out. The only thing about these is I don't like the way the discs, the discs are packaged, but um, you, know, you got the Blu-ray right there, the DVD, and then you have the 25 Years of Terror documentary and the special features for the 25 Years of Terror. So yeah, very, very cool. Like I said, I absolutely love this release. It's my favorite release of Halloween 2 that I own. I'm very happy to own it. Now the next one was a gift from my buddy uh, Steve Bennett, who also sent me the, uh, the uh, 35th anniversary UK Blu-ray steelbook of the original Halloween. He also sent me the hard box for uh, Halloween 2. Uh, the German hard box. I'm not a big fan of hard boxes, but I do want to get uh, the Halloween movies if I can. Um, I would love to own an, or the, uh, an original Halloween hard box, but those are just really hard to find. They're really rare and really expensive. Um, but yeah, this is the release of Halloween 2. Um, this was released with several different um, covers. Um, this is, of course, just a regular cover. There's a lot of cool images on the back right there. And then, of course, the front just has the, you know, the classic poster artwork. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how the discs are packaged, for those who don't know. Yeah, got a few things to take in. And as you guys can see, the packaging on these is just really not that great. But um, it does have the, uh, the DVD, there's a DVD, Halloween 2, and then the 25 Years of Terror documentary. So yeah, the packaging in these aren't that great, which is why I'm not a big fan of them. But I do want to try to get as many of the Halloween ones as I can. So yep, yeah, there's a German DVD hard box for Halloween 2. Now the next release I'm going to show is one release that I never thought I was going to own because it is a really rare release and it is one that so many collectors want. 
I remember seeing people show this release off in their videos and just really wanting this release, but I never thought I would get it. And then a few, um, I actually think last year, um, somebody had it on eBay for a really good price, brand new sealed, and I knew I had to get it. This is the Halloween 2, the limited steel case edition, German Blu-ray um, release, metal pack. And one thing that is cool about this release is you press the button right here. Yeah, the eyes light up and it plays the Halloween 2 theme. Um, and that's the main, you know, the really cool thing about this release. But I remember, you know, seeing people show this off and just really wanting it. Um, and I never thought I would get it. I did see one on eBay a few years back that was going for over $100. And I knew that I I was never going to get it for that much. But I found this one for um, a really good price. And uh, went ahead and I jumped on it. There's the back. I love that image right there. So yeah, just a really, really cool release. It is still sealed, and I do plan on keeping it sealed because I already have other releases of Halloween 2 um, to watch, so I don't need to uh, I don't need to open it. But uh, yeah, just I'm very, very happy to have this. This is one of my favorite releases of Halloween 2 in my collection. And then here is my other uh, German metal pack. Um, and this one is the Lenticular uh, cover for Halloween 2 and this was put out by NSM who also released several of the other Halloween movies on on metal packs and they also released uh, media books as well but yeah I absolutely love this release I love how the you know the, the classic you know pumpkin with the skulls particular on the front there's some really cool images on the back and then the inside artwork is just awesome there's the, the disc right there. And yeah. Very, very cool. Absolutely love this release. And then the last of the uh, Blu-ray releases is the Screen Factory release of Halloween 2. I was so happy that Screen Factory put out this Steelbooks for Halloween 2 and 3 because... You know, before Screen Factory released Halloween 2 and 3, they never had any really good releases in the U.S., you know, with special features. Um, and I was just so happy when Screen Factory, you know, released them because, you know, they're both great movies and they both deserve, you know, they, they deserved really nice releases for years. And, you know, in the U.S. never got them. And they, they got a good releases in other countries, but not until Screen Factory released them in the U.S. did they ever get, like, really, really awesome releases. And I'm also really glad that they, you know, released a steelbook for Halloween 2 and 3. I love that image right there on the front of Michael walking while he's on fire. And I did pre-order this, and I also have the poster of this as well. Go ahead and open it. I love that quote right there of uh, from Dr. Loomis. You don't know what death is. And uh, this comes with the, uh, the theatrical cut on Blu-ray. And the TV cut on DVD. Yeah, very, very cool. Now I'm going to move on to the uh, the DVDs. And the first one is a pretty weird release. This is the Good Times release of Halloween 2. And one thing that's weird about it is the, the cover art is this, you know, it's just kind of a collage of different images. Like you got the image of Michael from first Halloween. You got, you know, Laurie and Dr. Lewis right there. And then you got the scene when Ben Tramer gets killed. Um, there's a spine right there. And one thing that's, um, another thing that's weird about this release is that it has an image of Michael's mask from Halloween 6, which I just always thought was just weird. Um, this is just, it is a weird release, but I like it because it's a unique release. You know, they didn't just go with the, the regular pumpkin image, like, you know, or, uh, you know they just you know they did something cool and and different with this release. I do like the uh, the images that they chose around the uh, the scene index. And then there's the disc, and once again there's that image from Halloween Six, and then you got the pumpkin right there. So, yeah, even though this is kind of a weird release, I do like it because it's unique, and you know I like that they did something different with it. Now the next one is just a bare bones, a universal DVD release. 
I do like that image of Michael's mask right there, and you got Lori right there in the eye. Um, but other than that, it, you know, it's just a basic release of the movie. And the last DVD release is the Screen Factory release. Um, I didn't bother getting the, uh, the Blu-ray of this because I already have the, uh, the box set. Um, but like I said, I was so glad when Screen Factory released Halloween 2 and 3 because they never got good releases here in the U.S. And, you know, I'm, I'm just so glad that Screen Factory, you know, put both of these out. And I'm also, of course, incredibly glad that they released the, uh, the Blu-ray box set. I do love the, uh, the cover right here. I love that image of Michael, you know, but, you know, the blood tears and... This is just an awesome release. So many great special features. And, you know, it just has, of course, the theatrical cut on blue, on, and then the TV cut. But yeah, like I said, very, very happy that Screen Factory released Halloween 2 and 3. Alright, now it's time to show off the uh, two VHS releases. I do plan on, on getting more of the VHSs. I would love to own an original um, an original release of Halloween 2 on VHS. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a few other releases of the movie that I'd like to own, but these are the only two uh, VHS releases I have. First one right here, this is a Good Times release. Um, this one is kind of cheesy. You know, you got the pumpkin right there, and you got the... Uh, the green coming out of its eyes and you know it is kind of a cheesy release but I like it because it is you know it's kind of a cheesy artwork um good times did release Halloween 2 and 3 um and Blockbuster had a uh, a box set that had um the Blockbuster Presents release of the original Halloween this release of Halloween 2 and the good times release of Halloween 3 in a box set um which was pretty cool um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I like this release, you know, it, 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 it's got, you know, kind of, uh, you know, it's unique, you know, you got the green around the title and everything, but I like it because it's just a, uh, just a cool different release. And then the last one is just a basic universal release, which is just the same as the DVD. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is every release of Halloween 2 that I own. Like I said, you know, I would love to own an original um, VHS release of Halloween 2. I would like to get that as soon once I find one in good condition and um, for a good price. I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely pick it up. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is my entire collection of Halloween 2. Like I said, I absolutely love Halloween 2. It's one of my favorite sequels, and in my opinion. It is the best sequel in the franchise. Um, I know some people might disagree, and like I said, that is fine. So, hold on one sec. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all the releases of Halloween 2 that I own. And I do plan on doing a video showing off all the releases I own for Halloween 3 and 4 as well. Um, my next video that I'll be posting on this on my Dead by Dawn 93 channel will be... Um, uh, will be something different. It won't be uh, movie related. Um, so, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is doing well. I know there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now, but I hope you are all safe and, you know, hopefully, eventually we can get past all this this craziness. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.